<clears throat> we post this on Discord. Wait for a few people to get in here, and then we will start our office tour. Give everyone a few minutes to get in here. Take a little bit of spin drift. No more leaks, bros. No more leaks. I'm so happy, you know. I'm so sad when we're uh, when we have secrets. I hate secrets. I hate keeping secrets. It's like lying. I hate lying. Uh, we don't have any more secrets. We're here to show you everything. Comment through production. Let's wait for a few more people uh, to get in here, and then we'll go for uh, an office tour. Um, wow, there really are no more secrets. Like, I can show you guys the board. Uh, I can show you all everything. Oops. Uh, all right, cool. 44. Let's get to 100. Let's get to 100, and then we'll uh, we'll, uh, we'll walk around the, uh, the office. We've been working on the Comma 3 for like three years now. Uh, all right, let's go. So here we are. This is all the comma three boxes. Wow, that's a lot of boxes. Oh yeah, look, oh, we got more boxes over here. Oh, more boxes over here. These are where all the cases come from. This is what they look like before they're sandblasted. Kind of gross. That's why we sandblast them. Uh, this is the heat sinks that still need to go through final finishing. Uh, oh, I guess we did get some Nidec giraffes back from the Jeopardy prize. Look at these boxes. Look at these boxes. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Um, driver monitoring metrics. Uh, we've improved low light face detected comma three a lot. Uh, these are our new priorities now. Uh, yeah, office is up there. Open Pilot 1.0, you guys have seen that before. Accessory boxes, foam inserts, so much stuff. This is the lens focusing room. Comma 3 cameras being focused. Continuous positive air pressure. So that we don't, uh, oh, sans, it's so nice to show everybody everything now. Yeah, 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 so nice. No yeah. more secrets. No more secrets. Yeah. You want to talk about what you're doing? Well, I'm fixing the focusing setup. Uh, so this is a setup we use for focusing over lenses. Uh, now it's set up to focus the wide angle one, so it's pretty short range for the mm -hmm. monitoring. We also have these mirrors to simulate like a longer distance for the, the narrow angle cameras. Yeah, I wish I could use the mirrors for filming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Look at that quality, quality focus pattern over there. Is that really what we're... No, 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 we're using the TV. Oh, oh putting, yeah, putting great. The Ford Focus. Have you guys seen a it's virtual eye out. test? It's very similar to that. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's extremely similar, yeah. These cameras are bad. Oh, but yeah, wow, that's, that looks so professional. Listen these. What have got in here? Oh, more camera boards. Yeah. Right, let's see what we got. Infrastructure room, the remnants of all the failed Laicos from the Comma 2s. Uh, what else we got? The remnants of the donuts from Comic Con. These are some Comma 3s being tested. You see that like we're catching failures. Maybe this one doesn't have a camera plugged in great. Um, Still, we have a card out here, comma twos. These gotta go away. Some new comma threes for final provisioning. All the various failures. <laughs> um, a beautiful set of comma three boards, just getting their psalms. Man, all this stuff's cool. Some lenses of various sizes, injection molded fronts. 
Oh, you feel that the biggest holding back in self-driving cars is software, not hardware? Well, I mean, that's definitely true, but uh, better hardware helps a bit. We don't want to disrupt the production people too much. We want to get you guys your Comma 3s as soon as possible. Got some boxes ready to go. Check out that beautiful cross-country edition logo. Um, you want to say hi to the stream? Yeah, it's nice to not have secrets anymore. It's so weird it's to not have secrets. secrets but, you know. Know, what are the secrets? That's not secrets. Yeah. Guys, we're we're right. planning a comma three S like in like two years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all the stuff to do? Yeah. It's not very interesting. Oh. Is it feasible to do some model training on the Comma 3s? No. <laughs> Comma 3 circuit boards. Ooh. You want to show them anything, Nick? Mm -hmm. Should we show them uh, the widget board? Yeah, show them. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's not, a, it's not really like a secret anymore. Like some of the later, this is the new camera that's in progress for the Comma 3s. It doesn't have any difference for you. The functionality of it's identical but we're using these rigid flex boards, so there's one less wire that people have to plug in. Lowers assembly costs. Yeah. Um, what else? Is there anything? Oh, should we show them, like, old revs? Oh, yeah. See these? These are the, the, the old, crappy revs of the Comma 3s. This one was so crappy that they didn't even cut out the hole for the DM camera. <laughs> we, we fixed that on Rev C, and then we realized that it looked disgusting, so we went to the uh, non-square DM camera that you see now in the Rev H's, which are the ones we're shipping? Uh, um, Calendar. Yeah, yeah, this is the plans now. Batch one, batch two. No secrets, that's so nice. I hate having secrets. All oh, these are Psalms, we got more Psalms. Guys, you know how much all this stuff costs in Outlay? Tons. What are those? Oh, inductors. Oh, inductors. <laughs> A whole real one. Yup. Oh, oh, oh. Solder wick. Ooh. Are we using solder wick at scale? <laughs> yeah, we gotta buy. We gotta buy the world supply. <laughs> uh, whenever Igor gets back, he wants to show off the red pandas. We're gonna build our first bunch of red pandas. Uh, we don't have a trade-in program, unfortunately. Uh, guys, we're not Apple. We can't do everything at that sort of scale. Um. But, uh, you know, you guys can just buy it you want. Oh. Red pandas. Well, that's a whole box full, I think. These are all red pandas. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look. Individually wrapped red pandas. We went with a different manufacturing company for these. Uh, yeah. Lots of red pandas. You know, every Comma 3 has an NFC tag in it. One of these NFC tags. Um, Old revisions. Yeah, failures. Failures. That's one of the common clues that blew up when removing the battery. Exploded battery. <laughs> <laughs> this comma two that was left in a ultrasonic cleaner for three weeks. Oops. Accidentally. Yeah. Solder face stencils. Yeah. Different. Oh, yeah. This is when we were moving each individual hole on the back of the Comma 3. Oh, you mean the original Comma 3 that became the 6? Oh, well, that, yeah. Or just the, the Ben Bean Flex Ray board. That oh, that's the Ben. Yeah, yeah. Is this the hardware museum? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the museum. VIP office two or five grand. Let's put it on the service <laughs> site. <laughs> yeah. Hey Chris, you got anything to say to the streams? You want to show them anything? What's wrong with it? Oh. What rev is it? It's a rev. Oh, it's an H. Yeah. 
Check it out. Yeah, we didn't we nice. we didn't write H on it. I don't know what we were thinking. We should have wrote yeah, H on. Right. <laughs> well, we were like, we'll delete the rev because this is the final one forever. And then like, well, you know. <laughs> um, no, there's no known bugs with H. Uh, that's why it's the one we're shipping. There were known bugs with every rev before. Uh, that's why we didn't ship those. It's kind of why it took so long. Uh, where's the not the data center? It's over there. Yeah, oh, it's so nice to not have secrets. We've got red pandas, we're gonna ship them out soon. We gotta work on some testing for them. Can FD plugs into your comma three. Uh, the version numbers became something different. We had one schedule for the version numbers and then we switched it. Um, but the comma two will be left with something good. Uh, you can see our neon cameras over, uh, commas over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's just so much. It's all got to go away somewhere. Foam pouches. I don't even know what we do with those. This is what happens when you put a common three box together backwards. We ship them all black, so it's stealth. Uh, I don't even have a common three in my office. Everyone took my common threes. Hey, look, it's our YouTube video. Oh, is it a traffic light? The traffic light represents the CI tests. Uh, so you can see that it's green right now because all the tests are good. Uh, here's lunch. You guys want some ribs? Ribs are pretty good. Uh, do a reaction to the live stream. Who am I, Bo Burnham? Oh, we're not going to disturb the research office. They have important research to do. They're out working on your longitudinal. Um, Uh, yeah. Uh, yo, guys, should I show the Shopify numbers? They're really good. We rich, boys. We rich. Um, we rich. We rich. We rich. Uh, uh, we needed to make $300,000 this weekend, or, you know, we were going to have to raise money. Uh, we uh, blew away the target of $300,000. We now have extra money. I love having extra money. You see what good mood I'm in when we have money? I'm in a good mood, you know? Um, no, I don't even have a comma. All I have is a comma two. I don't even have a comma three in my office. Who took my comma three? I don't know where it went. Comma three, very rare. It's probably shipping. Uh, numbers. Nah, no numbers. No numbers. It's not yacht o'clock yet, but... We were talking about transitioning the company 100% off of shitty spinning disks and over to SSDs. We can now afford SSDs. Uh, by how much did we overshoot our goal? Big money. No, not that much, but enough that we feel very comfortable. Uh, yeah. Watching live from Temecula. Cool, Brevin. It was great having Brevin. It was great having you there. Thank you for manning the Comma Three booth. Um. That's it. That's kind of all I got. You guys saw all the cool stuff. That lens focusing rig's real cool. Uh, why don't we combine it into a hand engineered perception layer? Ugh, hand engineered perception layer. Ugh, gross. We do end to end here. Yeah, we need a new office. If anyone knows a good office, we, we, we want an office around the San Diego area. Well, I share my injection molding per unit price. Yeah, the molds themselves aren't that expensive. I think we're only paying like, it's like, eight bucks for the case uh but getting the molds made cost a lot of money getting the molds fixed cost a lot of money and then we have to hand individually sandblast them so that uh i didn't even go to the top there wasn't a, there was an after party i didn't even go uh i went home i was tired you still streaming yeah 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 we got it for sale tell them if they buy one during your stream Wait, are we, pump, are we pumping right now? Alex, this is adding complexity to shipping. <laughs> no, this is too much complexity for shipping. All right, I'll sell them. you got to track which ones. Want to buy one? These are ultra rare. There's a few left. These are, no, 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 no,
<laughs> uh, no, 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 it's too hard if we like to like say like we're gonna ship some, you know. All right, all right, all right. Some right, fulfillment's right, already gonna right, be so right. hard. Oh, right, I'll put one still. on the website for one for five hundred bucks. It's the last. The well, how many we have left? <laughs> There's four. Yeah, I think I think um, I don't know. What's a good price for the hats? What's a good price for the hats, guys? Gift. Whoa, that's not a good price. One K. Oh, wow, that's really what they're saying. 420, I like that. 420, <laughs> salt. No, no, $69, $69 is good. We did that once with beanies. We sold $69 beanies? Yeah, we still do. We sold $69 beanies? Go to the website right now and get one. Oh, sick. Wait, Wait, can I keep this hat? <laughs> can I keep this one? Yeah. Are we up to sell, sell Wait, now? you didn't get one? Not that I know of, no. That one's yours. Sick, brah. <laughs> You look like a real bro with that on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys want to go, uh, you know, anyone got a keg, bro? Anyone got a keg? I'm interested in a keg. Wait, never mind. Employees didn't get them. You can't buy them! Can't buy them. Yo, check out the three comma hat, though. This is the official hat of the comma three. <laughs> that was better. All right, boys. Um, yo, if you're out there from the media, uh, send me an email. I'm happy to do, uh, tell you guys about the Comma 3. We have a press kit ready. We have a press release coming out tomorrow when everyone has free time again. Uh, all the lane changing possible. Yes, if your car has uh, good blind spot monitors. But it's not high on the priority list. Very low on the priority list. Am I going to participate in Advent of Code this year? Only if I'm having a good time. If I start to not have a good time, I'm not going to play. I had a very good time the first year, second year. No, I still had a good time. It'll be chill. It'll be chill. You know, I can't beat myself uh, up if, you know, it's like, oh, you got to be there. It's like, no, man, I got things to do. Oh, I got to play having a coat. Eh, you know. We only do it if we're here to party, right? When does the consumer version get released? Um, long ass time. Um, so we were on the Comma 2 platform, effectively the Comma 2 platform, for like four years. Uh, we think the same thing is going to be true for the Comma 3 platform. So the Comma 2 platform included the uh, Eon, the Neo, the Eon Gold, and the uh, Comma 2. How can you request a press kit? Are you press? No, press at Comma AI. You must be legitimate press. One Comma 4. Uh, dude, long time. You want an IPO release? Yeah, gross. Stop making money off the backs of others. That's what losers do. Start making money off your own back. Start creating value in the world. Uh, is there any immediately noticeable difference between the C2 and the C3? The beautiful OLED display. Uh, the stunning crispy picture. Crispy HDR picture. Uh, yeah. Cool. No, I will send it to bloggers. I'm, not, I'm just playing. Send it to email press a comment today. I will send it to top. Uh, yeah, no, we have to use the integrated radar system if we want to see the blind spots uh, and also to see if cars are coming up fast. So you need cars with good blind spot monitors. Part of the reason we made the Red Panda is it supports CanFD and some of the blind spot monitors are on CanFD. Um, your C2 demo window closed two weeks ago. Are, are you? No. The return of two weeks ago. Could I have it three weeks ago? No, guys. We're either a company of laws or we have nothing, right? Is the model open source? Uh, yes. Uh, the training code's not. Uh, the training code would only be useful to you if you had a half million dollar supercomputer, and the only people with that are evil corporations. Um, so that's why the training code's not open source. But the model itself is open source. It's how much you license, just like everything else. People are like, Common needs to open source their model architecture. Well, we did. You just didn't look very hard. It's an Onyx file, bro. It's the most common shared model format there is. Just go into models and, you know, dump the Onyx file. Load it into whatever. You can run it on a PC. You can run it on a Common 2. And you can run it on a Common 3. Can you sleep while Common is being used? No. Um... Is there a panda inside the C3 like C2? Yes. Uh, the panda inside the comma 3 is called the DOS, and the panda inside the comma 2 is called the UNO. All right. Any other good questions? Oh. 
Uh, we don't ship from the Netherlands. We don't ship from Europe. The Europe office is just a software development contractor. We do not do any hardware out of the Europe office. Uh, you can have to deal with those regulations, you know? Um, it has an OLED display. Should I be worried about burn-in? We can want to go to the testing closet. I can show you the ones we've had up for weeks. There's no real burn-in. Um, so that's all I can really say about that. Like we did test for it. They seem pretty good. They're Samsung, they're Samsung OLEDs. Like they're nice OLEDs. Um, so yeah, if you like keep up one graphic on there for a long time, but OpenPilot should never do that. Uh, the 360 view will require neural network retraining. We need you all to buy comma threes. We need you all to buy comma threes so you can give us the data so we can improve your comma threes. And you guys know if you're one of the first people to give us data, you're going to probably be included in the network forever. Uh, you ordered your cross-country edition yesterday. Do I think it'll ship this week? Maybe. If not this week, then early next. Again, I can't make any promises, uh, but maybe soon. You're definitely, I promise, I can make this promise. We are going to ship out every cross-country edition before we start shipping out the other ones. Uh, so, you know, it should comfortably be in two weeks. And when will VWs and Audis be supported? They are. Uh, how can I buy 35% of your company? You actually can't. You can buy every available share of Comma and it's still not 35%. I'm not selling you shit. <laughs> um... Can you buy a Comma 3 and put it in a Zipcar? I don't know how Zipcars work. You'd probably put it on Uber or put it in some, uh, put it in a Turo. I mean, that'd be great. Someone should put it in a Turo. I'd chill for you on Twitter. If somebody b gets a Turo car and puts a Comma in it, I'd chill for you on Turo. Uh, you can't buy Comma shares. We're not a financial instrument. We're a company that creates something. Um, no upgrade program, sorry. You want an upgrade program? Go on for sale, sell your two coin, buy three coin. Uh, that's all I can really say about that. Um, also, actually, even better, sell your comma 2 to a friend. Uh, sell your comma 2 to a neighbor. Sell your comma 2 to somebody with a supported car. Uh, like, just because the comma 3 is out, it doesn't take away from the comma 2. The comma 2 is still great. Now, you want to work there. That's a whole different thing. We're definitely hiring. Um, if you have the right sort of skills, uh, we'd love to hire you. Uh, if you're interested in research, we have a research challenge. If you're interested in the open pilot team, the best way to get hired for open pilot team is to start contributing to open pilot. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Uh, will new features be coming to the comma too? Yeah, some will. Some will, some will be three exclusive. Look, if there's a new feature, if we develop a new feature, I'm not gonna like be a dick and write an if statement and be like, if comma three work, else don't. Right? Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be a dick. If there's a feature and it's like, well, it would be an extra couple of weeks of work to make it work on the two, well, then it's gonna be three only. Um, but, like, a lot of the longitudinal improvements are just gonna come to both. Can you contribute to the open source of your HTML and CSS skills? Well, OpenPilot is written in C++ and Python, so those are the skills you need. Uh, do we offer employee stock options? Absolutely, yeah. Um, being an employee here is one of the only ways to get comma stock uh, or to buy it from an employee uh, or an ex-employee. Uh, yeah, so that's like, you know, who owns, who owns the company? The people who create the value, right? Um, and then once they, you know, create the value, of course, when you're an employee, uh, you have stock options. You can exercise, there's a one-year cliff, but once you uh, own the options, you can exercise the options at any time. And there's no, we have no transfer restrictions. Uh, so this is another thing that was an important to, thing to me. I, I hate those companies that do the... Uh, like, oh, well, you have a lockup period for your share. Like, we don't have anything like that. If you work here, you get stock. You can sell your stock. Uh, is burn-in covered by the warranty? Um, what do TVs do for this? Uh, what do phones do? I think, I think we'll do the same thing. Uh, like I said, I haven't really seen it be a problem. And if we start to see, if anyone starts to show signs of burn-in, we'll fix it in the in the UI. But I, I don't think, I don't think the OLEDs really burn in. Um, so no, if you run some weird thing and get burn-in, no, of course that's not covered by the warranty. Um, but if you're running normal open pilot and using it normally, it shouldn't burn in. And if it is, we'll, we'll really look into it. Um, would you guys rather an LCD? I'm doing LCD. Uh,
We are a private company. Uh, does the better vision of the comma three result in better performance? Like a chiming less about distraction when the driver's not distracted. If you're having that happening, do you upload the front camera? If you upload the front camera and you're getting false positives for driver monitoring, we'll look into those right away. That shouldn't happen. Um, in for DevOps? Yeah, we hire for that. Absolutely. Uh, you want an in for DevOps job? Yeah, just, just, just reach in. I think, I think that will go through like the hacker rank pipeline. Um, if you make it through the hacker rank pipeline, you'll hear from Greg, uh, you'll hear from me. I'll ask you a bunch of questions, you know, know about, you gotta know a lot about computers and like how this all works. And we're going to go all across the stack. Uh, so if you like learned, if you memorize like one set of certain skill, like I know this cloud platform, you probably won't get hired for infra here. But if you know everything from like, you know, okay, if I tell you in a motherboard, like, um, you know, uh, tell me about how PCIe is connected to the CPU, right? Like I'm interested in things like that all the way up to like, tell me how DMA works, tell me what a kernel is, tell me what a syscall is, right? All, all the way up. Um, so know the whole stack. Uh, longitudinal control come to the comma three on the Honda Accord. I'll do you one better. Uh, that's one of the features that's platform agnostic. So if it comes to the three, it'll come to the two. The main, the, the big push now for the three is going to be on uh, the navigation stuff. And then you're gonna get just some passive benefits by the camera being better. Um, and you're also gonna get some passive benefits by the CPU being better. Uh, it's nice to have an eight core CPU instead of a four core CPU. How many pull requests in OpenPile to get hired for an internship? If you're thinking like that, it's not for you, right? If you're thinking of mentality, like I'm gonna like check X boxes, if you create value for the open pilot repo, I'd happily give you an internship, right? That's the right mentality. Um, will support stop for Eon Gold? Same as, the same as the comma two. The Eon Gold and the Black Panda and the comma two are effectively the same. Um, we stopped support for the original Eon because it required us to maintain kernel patches. As we started to dive deep into the kernel, we wanted to make sure we were delivering a uniform experience. So we offered everybody a free trade-in uh, from their original Eon to the Eon Gold. Um, assuming that they bought it from us. So, uh, yeah, you know, and people are like, oh, you deprecated the gray panda. Yeah, but we offered everybody a full money back. We offered people a $200 discount if they sent in a gray panda, which was the full price they paid for a gray panda. We're, we're, we're pretty good when we deprecate hardware. I don't know what, like, the hate on Reddit is about this. I think there's just, like, two haters about there who are just looking for things to hate. It's like, you know, we're, we're pretty decent about, about uh, hardware uh, life cycles. Uh, how are we going to manage the different stacks? It's unified. Go and master right now. Uh, master on the open pilot repo now supports both the comma two and the comma three, and 95% of the code is the same. We have good hardware abstraction layers for all this stuff. Uh, no discount for the comma two. The price is the same. Buy a used one. Um, you know, you missed the trade in. Hey, pay attention. I mean, I don't know what to tell you about that. Um, with the comma three cross country, can you connect it to the computer and access videos on the SSD? Yeah, of course. I mean, you could. Like, it has Wi-Fi. You can do it over Wi-Fi. Can you do it over the USB port? Actually, you know what you can do? Uh, get a USB to Ethernet. Uh, get, get one of these. Uh, you can plug this into the expansion port on your comma 3, and it'll just be on your internet with gigabit. You could SCP the files off. Uh, did I really name the company after Smoking Pot and Silicon Valley on HBO? Yes, absolutely. Um, names are mostly stupid. Uh... Will Comma 3 work for cars in Pakistan? I don't see why not. <laughs> like, this is my thing about countries. It's like, I don't know. We train it on whatever data we get. If there's a bunch of people in Pakistan using them, they'll have data. And the road maybe looks similar enough to everywhere else. It'd probably work. Um, who designed the logo? <laughs> I think I did. The original one. Uh, longitudinal for Honda Accord being worked on. Uh, yeah, 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 we're working on that. Um, I want to support the F-150. What's the worst mistake Comma ever made? Schiffer. Uh, yeah, we made a phone app. It was kind of a, you know, the Comma 6 was also a big uh, mistake. We made a few mistakes. They weren't, like, huge, huge, but... Um, Schiffer turned out to be just completely not necessary, and the Comma 6 NVIDIA turned out to, you know, uh, 
when leadership changes, make sure your deals are ironclad in writing. Do I regret the naming decision? No, Com is a sick name. Uh, have we been approached by OEMs? Yeah, a whole lot. But the problem is they don't really know how to approach us, right? Like, like I'm not interested in some shitty development deal. Like, if an OEM approaches us, I'm like, okay, how many Comma 3s you want to buy? We'll sell you a bulk discount. I'll even put it in a different box if you buy enough. You want, you want a little one in a silver box you can snap in your little thingy? I'll do that for you. You know, send me $10 million for, uh, you know, 5,000 of them and we're done. So, sold, sold. Um, yeah, so, but no, this isn't how the automakers work. They, they want this ridiculous stuff. And like, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not going to be Ford buying comma. It's going to be comma buying Ford. Uh, how can somebody ask me for a YouTube interview? Uh, I'll likely only do it if you have a good chance at a million views. Um, maybe you can send me an email and ask if you, if you if you have a channel that has like a bunch of million view videos I'm, I'm probably interested but um android auto compatibility not officially again it's something that's annoying to support anything that's per car specific comma's not that interested in doing because it's not the highest leverage thing we can do right like we have a limited amount of resources i'd much rather apply those resources to something that's generic that we can apply across our entire fleet than applying to something that only targets certain cars and then android auto every screen's a different resolution we really like a uniform experience that we can apply across every car when we do it because that's like the best use of comma engineering resources Um, will comma three have traffic light and sign detection? Yes. Will comma two, maybe. Like I said, with all features, look, if all I have to do is like, I'm not going to put an if statement in that says if comma two, you know, make them buy the new one. I'm not trying to be a dick like that. Um, but if it does require some serious extra effort to support it for the comma two, it is only going to come to the three. Uh, it's also possible, and we don't know, like this is something we won't know until like we build it and start doing the big data analytics on it. There's some traffic lights that you can't see in the Comma 2's camera. So the Comma 3 has a fisheye camera and you can, you can see them all. Um, would I ever allow Tesla to buy Comma? Not anymore. Uh, I offered it to Elon uh, before the Comma 2 came out. Do I have plans to go on, on Lex's podcast? I think we did one recently enough. Um, are you planning supporting the comedy for longer than the two? Well, so the two is kind of the end culmination of a platform, right? Like you can say that the two has been supported now for basically four years. Uh, so do we plan on supporting the three? It's going to be kind of like the, the, you know, how long ago did we sell Eon Gold, right? Like when the three iteratively gets upgraded, it's not like, it's all going to be on the same platform, so the, the support will all stay. Um, there's big differences between the two platform and the three platform, so it's why it's advantageous for us to drop the two platform. But like I said, we promise at least a year of support, and if it's easy, we'll keep supporting it, right? It's only, it, we're also going to look in a year and see what our network looks like, right? If in a year our network is 90% comma threes and 10% comma twos, then we're going to put all the resources into the comma three, and then we're going to, that's, that's it for the comma two support. If our network is 50-50, and we're still selling comma twos, by the way, and if people buy the comma two, we'll make more. Um, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, you know, like the comma three costs a lot more, but our profits aren't really higher, right? Like the comma three costs a shit ton of money to make. Those fucking sensors cost $30 a sensor, right? And that's just for the sensor. Never mind the whole camera around it. You, know, you need a lens, you need a, you need a cable, you need to focus it. So, you know, when all's said and done, like the cameras are, expensive right you know how much the comma two cameras cost 10 bucks right 10 bucks for the front one and like five bucks for the back one right? like we're talking 15 bucks both cameras in the comma two cost less than half a single camera in the comma three so you know i'm happy to keep selling them both comma two is a much higher margin product than the, than the comma three percent wise um we make obviously more profit on each three but the gross margin on the two is higher uh, yeah, well, it's always diagnosed, absolutely. We don't sell on safety. All we say is that our goal at Comma with safety is to make sure that we don't make driving less safe than driving without a Comma. All right, we, we're not, we very much do not want to make things less safe. More safe is just gravy, right? Like our goal is on par.
I mean, our goal is as safe as possible, but like our target is on par. Is the company making any money? Yeah, I showed this off in Comic-Con. Uh, yeah, we, we, are, we are profitable. The majority of our funding has come from device sales, not from investors. Um, how quickly did we start working on the Comma 4? Nobody has worked at all on the Comma 4. I swear. I just walked you around the office. No one's even given thought to it. People have, you know, we've given thought to like things we want to upgrade on the Comma 3, and we are going to hopefully slowly upgrade them over time. But a lot of these things are not really things that are going to change the experience. The biggest thing is we have to figure out how to make these devices cheaper. The Comma 3 costs us a ton of money to make. Um... Who are our investors at the moment? A16Z. A16Z, we did two rounds. Uh, Google us on Crunchbase, bro. Are the green hoodies for sale? I don't think anymore. I think they were event exclusive. Um, if you beg Alex and offer a lot of money, maybe. Uh, how bad are NVIDIA's salespeople? NVIDIA's a sad case. NVIDIA's a sad They're, they're going to lose. NVIDIA has flushed down the toilet their future of AI and their future of automotive uh, by a crazy over-the-top, like kind of a, a really a really a really like bad pricing structure and a really bad like like they're just like like they're just they're just trying to screw over their consumers it seems like right like there's no reason to say like we prohibit the use of this thing for this application contractually like ew um should you watch the replay at comic-con yeah it's awesome um so yeah we're committed to qualcomm for the future uh i think all future common devices are gonna have qualcomm chips in them um Eventually, maybe Qualcomm will reach out and be easy to work with. Uh, Qualcomm, in some ways, is easier to work with than NVIDIA because uh, if you want to buy Qualcomm chips, you can buy these from multiple... You can buy SOMs from, like, 10 different companies. You can buy the chips in the Chinese marketplaces. With NVIDIA, they're the only ones who make the SOM, and the chips are not available in the Chinese marketplaces. So, like, why would we use NVIDIA? We can't. We can't. And I regret the six months we wasted. Uh, you know, some guy from NVIDIA reached out. And, like, he's like, oh, yeah, you know, he heard that, like, Kama was kind of mistreated by NVIDIA. Uh, we want to, like, you know, uh, we want to have a phone call to discuss this. And I'm like, they're $1,000. And the guy never replied. Like, so, you know, NVIDIA doesn't care. Um, and they're throwing away their future in automotive. It's so sad. Yeah, partner with Mercedes. That's the future. That's the future, NVIDIA. That was ice, bro. Um, realistically, what cost reduction do we think we can get on the Kama 3? Uh, like I said, it's costing us a lot now to make these devices. We are profitable, but not, we, we are making money on each device, but not nearly as much as I would like. Um, I think we could maybe make them for 50% cheaper when all said and done. Um, and no, the prices aren't gonna go down. <laughs> the margins are gonna go up. Uh, in fact, we probably will raise the prices a bit too uh, as we start to launch these features, right? So we, what we've always done at Comma is we start it low and raise it slowly over time as, as the software provides more and more value. How the VIP gen session go? Good. We had some interesting conversations. Uh, crazy that everyone kept the Comma 3 for a secret so long. Yeah, addition to the Epot people, too. Um, make cheap Comma 3s is the primary goal right now. What's up? Oh, you want to show them off? Yeah, hey, probably. I showed them a little, but... You guys hear the Red Pandas? Yep. Hi, everybody. So, that's the board. And also you can see we have these golden pads. This is GPIOs for those who want to do something interesting, maybe to, to make their own device. Use them for anything. Uh, yep. They plug right into your, so uh, this just plugs right into your, your Comma 3 expansion port. Uh, they come in these beautiful little red cases. Uh, for sale right now. When we'll ship them probably pretty soon. We gotta do the test sale. Yeah, I think clo closer to two weeks than right. to eight weeks. All right, all right, cool. Uh, but yeah, they seem to be working, and we got. Yeah, and hardware support for SPI, IAC, UART. Oh, on on the on the yeah on the expansion. GPIOs, ah. output of twelve volts, five volts, and three and three. So, pretty everything. Awesome. ADC also. And those. We gotta we gotta post a pin out somewhere. <laughs> we'll post a little uh little PDF. Yeah, we will do this. Uh yeah, comma uh, red pandas are nice. 
the latest in the Panda lineup. Eventually, all comma hardware is going to move to uh, to this, but not too many cars have CanFD yet. But we like CanFD. We like CanFD a lot more than uh, than Flexray because it's reasonable. <laughs> cool. Yep. Great stuff. Red Panda, dope. Uh, what's our plan on getting Comet 3s less expensive to make? Give you all guys an LCD instead of OLED. You know how much I'm paying for them damn OLEDs? <laughs> now the OLED's nice. The OLED's nice. Um, uh, is something cheaper for the customer planned or is it just going to be getting more and more expensive? Uh, more and more expensive. But more and more capable, right? So, so it's a it's a trade off of cost for capability, right? And like we keep the old product and the old price around. So if you want to buy a comma two, it's the same price. I don't think we're going to raise the comma two's price again. I think that's probably the price for the rest of the life. Uh, we're paying more for the OLED on the comma three than we paid for the entire Lay Eco phone in the comma two. Yeah, I'm curious about Big Model too. We haven't seen big improvements from it. A lot of the things that we think Big Model are going to improve actually come from data bugs. How many active users are there right now? I have like, I said, what, 3,500 weeklies? A yeah, good IPS screen is okay. I'm not shipping a shitty screen. Trust me, this screen will be good. I'm never, I never want the device to like slip qualitatively. We are all about quality here. You know, when we first started out, we got a sign that said quality and the sign was a little ripped and we were like, the irony, we can't even make a quality sign right. The company's moved a lot in the last... Uh, in the last three, four years. Um, yeah, you can play Kanye's new album. Bumpin' three-watt speaker. Still needs a little bit of tuning. The sound out of the box is not perfect, but it's not hardware, it's software. Tuning speakers is tricky. And then, like, there's all this, like, DSP frequency crap. We'll get it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not bad. But um, it's not hardware, it's software. Uh, Linux sound also. So the Comet 3 is Linux. It's not Android. And, like... In almost every way, um, you know, Linux is better than Android, but Linux sound is a nightmare. Uh, I have plans with partnering up. People always use this word partnering. Can you define it for me? Uh, is there a notable development in the temperature? Yeah. The comma three in the stress test runs at like 60 degrees Celsius. The comma two in the stress test runs at 90. With the CPU at full tilt, it's 30 degrees Celsius less on the CPU cores. Do we have dedicated UX designers? Yes. Uh, do we hire ML engineers without hardcore CV experience? Absolutely. Uh, we think of ML engineering a lot more of an infrastructure problem. So if you have like big data and like, uh, like, like experience with big data, experience with, it's really infrastructure. Uh, we're, we're happy to hire you. Uh, I don't care if you know like the latest and like Winograd convolutions or whatever. Um, we're only here to talk about comma. This is the comma channel. Uh, Spotify or some kind of media stuff? No. Uh, we thought about this. You know, the original Eon had Spotify. Um, but what happens... Uh, you, you, people are very happy with the media solution on their phone. People are generally happy with the navigation solution on their phone, too. The problem is with the navigation solution on their phone, there's no way we can integrate uh, Navigate and Open Pilot into that. Uh, with music, use your phone. How much is the C3 underclocked? Quite a bit, similar to the C2. Uh, what's the difference between OLED and LCD screens? Google that. Tell you more about navigation. Uh, I think I think uh, I think Willem's writing a blog post. Does the Comet Three weigh more than the Comet Two? No, it's lighter, a little bit lighter. It's not that much lighter. Our plans were to make it a good bit lighter, and then like things kind of crept up, so they're uh, but they're lighter than the two, but just a little. Uh, it does help, though, that, like, the Comma 2 has this absolutely ridiculous-looking mount. Um, the, the Comma 2 is... <laughs> the Comma 3 is not like that. I don't have one. Someone took my Comma 3. Um, if you guys want to see the pictures, just look on the website. Why does the Comma 3 need so much storage? Because files are big. Can you use a dash cam? Absolutely. It is a dash cam. Uh, do the folks at research also publish stuff? Everyone's welcome to. It's just like, a, we've published a few things. Mostly a question of like time. It takes a lot of time to put those PDFs together. Check out comma 2K19, our original paper, learning a driving simulator. Uh, we wrote that blog, the blog post on the end-to-end -end lateral was kind of uh, really nice. Oh, thank you. Uh, 
don't know what it has on it. <laughs> we found a dirty-ish, pre-polished old Comma 3. No, it's pretty nice. It's still pretty nice. <laughs> okay, random comma three sitting in a deep's office. <laughs> um, yeah, but you can see that the uh, the the mount in the comma three is not um you know stupid looking. Sorry, comma two owners. We put a comma two up on the wall with the comma threes and we made fun of it. Can I summarize the difference between the comma three and the comma two features? Well, just like look at them. First off, two cameras. Second off, much better cameras. Third off, two USB ports. Fourth off, big driver monitoring camera instead of little driver monitoring camera. Fourth off, it's not like stupid and big and have these big plastic ears on it. Just all screen pretty much. Uh, those are most of the benefits of the 360. Obviously, it can see out here. It can see out here. It can see actually out in every direction because 360 is all the degrees. Uh, the 845 GPU. So the flop number is only like 50% more, but you see in practice, it's like twice as good because the limit is actually not the ALUs, it's the memory fetch pipeline. Uh, I've looked a lot into this. I've looked a lot into this. So the 845 GPU is really about twice as good as the GPU on the 820. The DSP is a ton better. Uh, we've barely even tapped that um, on, the, on the three. Uh, I think we're using like 12% of the GPU on, uh, DSP on here and we use like 2% it's nothing do i think it'll stop on red lights absolutely uh i will say with almost put it this way one of two things is going to happen either comma is going to go out of business or the comma three is going to stop at red lights um i'm hoping for the latter no it's going to be the latter it's going to be the latter we're, we're, we're somewhat close on red lights the the I, I there is no way in hell i can imagine a world where comma solves red lights and it doesn't come to the comma three the Comma 3 hardware is definitely capable of doing red lights. It's unclear about the Comma 2 hardware. Will it keep going on green lights? Absolutely. I'm never shipping, stopping on green lights. Uh, uh, it's contractors don't have stock. Uh, it's stock's only for full-time employees. Um, no interns get stock either. Uh, does it have a touchscreen? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, we switched to PyTorch. Tesla beta versus comma three. I mean, Tesla slogans, look at this crazy feature. Our slogans make driving chill. That's the difference. Stop signs and red lights will come at the exact same time. Although red lights, it will auto resume. Stop signs, it will stay stopped and you'll have to either hit the gas or tap the button to resume. Actually, I think it'll only be the gas. I think at a stop sign, you're gonna have to tap the gas to resume. It's not gonna auto go at a stop sign, but it will auto go when a red light turns green. Um, how does it handle yellow lights? Does it speed up or stop early? We are going to leave that to whatever the human policy is. Um, whatever humans do depends um if you just saw the light turn yellow and you're close go for it if not don't go for it right um and if you don't like it obviously you step on the brake it's level two uh i don't know what super chat is planning on self-driving cars with only cameras all oh, the outputs all oh, it'd be so much more rich if we had lidar no we'd spend our life calibrating lidars the update on voacc progress no we're just talking about common threes here nice comma logo on the front of casing thank you thank you um, if the lens gets smudged, should you clean it? Yeah, we ship them with microfiber cloths. I wish I had one of those microfiber cloths now. Um, I'm gonna run in here give me a microfiber cloth. Uh, so we could, we could clean it. They, they come with these little microfiber cloths, they're nice. Thinking of hiring any cone guys. There is no openings at Comma for cone guys, I'm sorry. What will we use the extra processing power for? Nav, more models, all that stuff. Um, did you rent, did you buy? No, you guys did it. It's all community. Uh, will German cars be supported? Not flex ray. Probably not. Microfiber shortage is real. No, we got some microfibers. We're going to ship with them. Um, so if you bought all three, it'd be over $4,000. So much for free software. Well, the software is free. But the software, if, if you bought every version of OpenPilot right when it came out, it still would have cost you $0. If you bought hardware, well, yeah, it costs you money. You do understand Linux doesn't run on free either. You have to buy a box to run the Linux on, right? Um, you can run open pilot on a PC if you want to, like you actually don't have to buy anything from comma. It's going to be a pain in the ass, right? Like a lot of the stuff we built was just to kind of make our lives easier. Why is having an OLED screen so important? It's like not, but like, they're really nice. I just wanted to be really nice. Big model on comma three. Yeah. Big models coming to comma three. Big model might come to comma two, probably will. Um, but we haven't seen advantages yet from big model. By partnering, I mean, working with a company that can mass produce OLED screens. Wait, that doesn't sound like partnering. That sounds like a purchase order. Yes, I would love to buy OLEDs from Samsung. 
I think we sent them an email. They probably said, do you want to buy a million? Otherwise, fuck off, right? That's not partnering. Like, I hate this word. It's like vague. It's like hooking up. Yo, I hooked up with her last night. Well, did you make out or did you, you know? Stop with that stupid word. Um, yes. Would we like to buy the OLEDs directly from Samsung? Absolutely. Um, is your back going to stop hurting if you buy Comma 3? Uh, this, is, this is not an FDA-approved medical device. <laughs> Any reason to not use the 888? Yeah, because the drivers aren't there. The 845 is like the only one you can really get Linux support for. Um, there's no 8088 dev kits yet. There are 865 dev kits, but there's no good Linux for it, right? We're going to be on the 845 platform for years. For years. I don't see us changing the processor for a while. Um, the biggest limitation, I mean, the Comma 2 had ran into some processor limitations, but the biggest limitation with the Comma 2 and the biggest upgrade from the Comma uh, 2 to the 3 is not the processor. It's the cameras. Uh, we really started to run into limitations of this camera. A lot of the reason, so like, you know when you want to stop for a stopped car at a red light and you're going too fast and the Comma 2 doesn't see it until the last minute? That's a camera limitation. Uh, the 3 doesn't have that limitation because this camera has both double the resolution and half the field of view. So that's effectively 4x the resolution. So we can see cars hypothetically out to 4x the, the distance. Uh, why not 4K? Because lenses. Um, these lenses can't resolve 4K. Getting a lens that can resolve 4K is actually really expensive. Um, these lenses can resolve 1080p. 4, 4K lenses, you're talking like SLR style lenses that are going to cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I have not seen a lens this size that can actually resolve 4K resolution. Um, so if your lens can't resolve the full resolution, you have to make a trade-off. Do you want more pixels on the image sensor or do you want larger pixels? And I'll make the trade-off every day for larger pixels. Uh, so yeah, that's why, um, look, like this, this camera has a 16 megapixel sensor. These cameras have two megapixel sensors. The picture from this camera looks way better than the picture from this camera. And it's due to the lens and due to the pixel size and due to the, you know, just the, the, uh, the quantum efficiency on these sensors is like through the roof. Um, AR0231 if you want to look it up. Uh, is it from a Sony phone? Nah. Um. No, it's, it's custom. Uh, the, the panel is used on a phone, but the screen is not. Uh, you see that it doesn't have any uh, phony holes. Do they have Carl Zeiss lenses? I do not believe so. They're good lenses, though. They can resolve. So we did the test. If you want to test how good a lens is, we did the uh, test with uh, alternating white and black lines, you know, and then made sure we could actually resolve perfectly uh, the lens. Um, like the, that the lens can actually, like each pixel can actually land on a line and there's not too much blur. Uh, are we using all the cameras for the driving model? Nope. Right now, at launch, we're using the little one. Um, we will soon though. We can't really use the cameras until we gather the data. So the model that we're shipping with the Comma 3 is the joint model with the Comma 2. We just did a little bit of augmentation to make it compatible with the Comma 3 as well. And I posted yesterday on Discord the results of the comma three are actually better than the results of the comma two. Uh, the model performs better on the comma three data already just because, you know, it's not blurry. Uh, nav data will be streamed live over comma prime. Uh, will they do good in rain and snow? As good as the two, uh, probably better. Uh, IR headlights and lampposts kill light pollution. I don't know about that. What about the people on the road? Uh, will Black Friday be more expensive? Um, I don't know. Uh, Black Friday discount. I'm not even thinking that far ahead. I don't think we'll do a discount. Probably not. It's probably too new. Maybe. We'll see. Um, will the Comma 3 OS ever be rebased on a newer version of Ubuntu? Yeah, probably. Uh, if we at the office change. So we went in the office from 1604 to 2004. If we go in the office to like 2404, then we'll upgrade the version. Um, it's not like, uh, stupid uh, Android, which you can never upgrade. Like, oh, you want to upgrade to Android 8? Oh, yeah, that's going to be a multi-month project. If we want to upgrade the user space in Ubuntu, I think that's comfortably... Uh, I mean, put it this way. It took about two weeks to move the whole office from 1604 to 2004. In fact, the first comma threes had 1604. So uh, we already did it once. We'll do it again. Um, we'll double the price for new build day. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, can comma take Monero as payment soon? Let's... Uh, no. Uh, I don't trust Moneros. I don't know. Take Monero, maybe. You don't like Bitcoins and Ethereum's? 
Um, no, if drug markets use it, we don't. Comma is a legitimate operation. Uh, two cameras viewing the road on the Comma 3, you can see them. There's little camera and there's big camera. This is the F camera, this is the E camera, this is the D camera. Um, don't ask why. <laughs> remote work, no, Comma doesn't do remote work. Um, you can work in Europe. Uh, we have a Rotterdam office and we have a US office, but we have a zero remote policy. Um, you know, it's just how it works for us. What's left to do before OpenPilot 1.0? Whole list of things. Uh, ETA new blog post on NAV, whenever Willem does it. I don't know. I think he has higher priority things at first, but uh, he did mention doing it. Uh, any plans on moving to the Bay? Zero. We got out of there. Uh, probably going to stay here. I don't know. We'll see. Rotterdam's cool. I haven't actually been. I haven't been to the Rotterdam office yet because it started after COVID. And uh, I left the country once to go to Mexico, and even that was kind of stressful. So I haven't left America much. Um, external GPU. Yes, very possibly. Um, so if we do dis if we do realize that the model size is the limiting factor and we can't run uh, the f we can do better with a larger model than what can run on the comma 3 the comma 3 is capable of streaming its entire sensorium out of this usb port which is a super important feature so we could potentially ship a comma compute which is like a 3090 in a little box that uh plugs into here and then like does the model uh over there and sends it back um and you can totally do this with timings none of that stuff's a problem uh, we've tested this already, so yeah, it's it, the Comma 3 is expandable if we do decide that the size of the model becomes a limiting factor. Uh, yeah, you can't do that on the 2. There's another, there's another downside to the 2. Uh, again, you're going to have to tell me what partnering means, and we don't hire any biz dev. Uh, will the Ford Mach-E be CanFD community? Uh, CanFD is, CanFD, you can already buy a Red Panda and plug it into here, and it works. Uh, or it will work in OpenPod 088. Um, we already have our Prius driving around with a Comma 3 and a Red Panda. So again, this expansion port, tons of flexibility. Say you need both CanFD and a model computer, we could do that too. Just put a hub in there. Um, so, no, they're not from a Sony phone. I told you that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, might Sony have used it? I don't know. It's a, it's a Samsung OLED panel. Uh, it's been used in a few phones. Um, I don't know what partnering means. Was there ever a fan in the 3C? Three, three, there is a fan. Yeah, there's a fan in here. There's a fan. Uh, the fan is, for the most part, pretty quiet. You will hear it if you left it out in the hot sun. It whirs up at the beginning. It's kind of like the gaming laptop. Uh, similar to the Comma 2. Uh, will, C2 do, will C3 do navigation on OpenPilot? Absolutely. Uh, any plans on making Comma Prime more affordable? No, prices are going to go up. Yeah, we lose money on Comma Prime. We lose money, I'm telling you. Uh, maybe the only thing we were considering is maybe we'll make it $16 a month if you bring your own SIM card. Tethering will not be supported, though. In order for you to be able to buy this plan, you have to have a dedicated SIM card for the device. Um, will driver monitoring camera... Let, let me go over here. Will driver monitoring camera be used in the driving models in the future? Yeah, it will, hopefully. Uh, SSD controller overheating. Uh, we tested this. It's pretty good. Um, we don't... Maybe if we ran it at, like, full tilt for a long time, but we don't, so... Um, we track this too. Give you a bulleted list. Why buy a C3? Because you own a C2. Uh, oh, we were joking about this in the meeting this morning about like making fun of how companies do this. Like, look, I'm not going to convince you, man. If you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. Uh, if you do want to buy it, buy it. Why, why should you buy a comma three? Because you want a comma three. Why shouldn't you buy a comma three? Because you don't want a comma three. Um, highest temperature Comma 3 can withstand. So what I can say about this is, uh, first off, these things have been in the melting, I mean, I, I, I have land 30 minutes east and it gets up to, it's like 95 out there. Um, it's, 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 it's scorching. I got once back in the car and it said 118 on the Hyundai thing. Uh, and my three survived fine. Um, we've tested these at 85 Celsius in an oven for 24 hours and they don't break. So uh, that's what I can say about heat. Heat's always going to be a problem. Also, like, the thermal policy takes is going to take some big data to really refine and make good. Like, it took us a bit on the Comma 2. When the Comma 2 first came out, when summer hit, everyone was complaining about the Comma 2's uh, overheating, and it was bad. Um, but it wasn't, it's not hardware, it's software. Uh, so we fixed it. Uh, is the Sonata the Comma flagship? Yeah, I mean, it's in the pictures, right? Um, can I make a $10,000 version that's water-cooled with a full-size 3090? Well, I mean, what you'll be able to do is you'll just be able to plug a 3090 into here. Uh, so, yeah. No need to uh, 
make a device that has it integrated. Does it still disengage at 65C? I mean, maybe up there. I don't know. Well, but again, all this stuff's got to be tweaked. Uh, cool on the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the thermal solution in the Comma 3 is much more capable than the one in the 2 because the heatsink's touching the processor. Right? In the Comma 2, the processor actually faces the screen. Uh, and that's just how cell phones are because you can't dump heat into the user's hand. The only place you can dump heat is into the screen on a cell phone. But the Comma 3 is not like that. The Comma 3, the processor faces that way, right onto the heatsink with a fan. That's good. Uh, well, Ethernet can be supported. Someone can make an adapter. Again, that's the beauty of this uh, expansion. Uh, why not white molding for the case? I'm not sure black and white matters that much. I think most of the heat's in the infrared spectrum. Uh, not 100% on that. Uh, black's a nicer color than white. How about that? <laughs> Um, A45 has internal GPU, that's true. Uh, why use such a high-res screen? Because it's beautiful. We'll see if we do auto lane change. It's a stupid feature, guys. Uh, why USB for external GPU and not Thunderbolt 3? The Qualcomm chip does not support Thunderbolt 3. Um, can you mirror your Comma 3 screen to another screen? Yes, this is a display port as well. Um, this is a display port 1.2 connector. Uh, there's a little switch inside. Uh, that switches. So if you plug this into a monitor, uh, it won't work because the software is janky. But if you fix the software, the hardware supports it. Um, will Comma 3 do U-turns? Oh, even stupider than auto lane change. Make your own U-turn. Um, does it read speed limits? Who knows? It's a model. Who knows what it does? I never taught it to, but it learned some things. Oh, 90 degree turns. Oh, we're really, we're really in the stupid feature land today. You don't want it. Be in a car doing an autonomous 90 degree turn. And you're like, please don't ever do that again. Um, will it do it? Yeah, it probably will. In fact, have you seen the Comma 2 can do 90 degree turns? Watch some videos. Um, there's a whole bunch of Toyotas making 90 degree turns with the Comma 2. Uh, did I change the sound effects? No, it's the same sound effects. If you want them changed, submit a pull request. If someone makes nice sound effects, I will merge them. If someone makes nice sound effects and shows that they can continually improve OpenPilot, we'll even hire you. Will Comma 8 fly, maybe? Um, what are the specs of the device? Google. How many do we sell? We sell them? One. One since this stream started. Uh, it'll fly off the shelves. Does Comma 3 come with a cup holder? Uh, oh my god, we're already past an hour on this. No. All right, now we're getting stupid questions. The questions got stupid. <laughs> All right. Any more good questions? I don't want to leave people with good questions hanging out. Try to Google it. Comma.ai. Go to the thing. Uh, what do I think the current best vehicle is? Personally, I think it's the Sonata. Uh, it's Sonata longitudinal is stock as well. Maybe I just think that because Comma's longitudinal needs a bit of love. Um, the Sonata lateral is, is really keyed in, really dialed in. Um, any regulatory risks? I mean, we've been in contact with regulatory agencies like. I mean, again, we don't sell safety, but uh, the data is pretty promising. So there's that. That's always nice. Um, how's the Comma 3 powered? Right here. It also has supercapacitors in it. So if you pull the power, you get like five seconds of emergency power that we can use to alert the user, that we can use to write logs. We only sold three. We sold a lot more than three. Uh, we made more than $300,000, and we sold more Comma 3s in the last three days than we did comma twos for the whole first week. Um, and that's not dollars, that's in units. So in dollars, um, any theft protection, we're not an insurance company, work with your insurance company if you want theft protection. Uh, what cars do I wish the community would jump in to help support? Encrypted Toyotas, you guys can do it, I believe in you. Um, if someone ships FlexRay, if someone ships good flex, right, I will chill for you. Um, there's a guy in Discord who made a adapter to get the Honda Accord that uses serial. Uh, they did a serial to can converter and we gave them a channel on Discord and they're selling these things. So if you support a car in a safe way, it's very important that it's safe, but if you do it in a safe way, uh, yeah, we'd love to chill for your thing. And you know, so uh, yeah, flex rate community, let's go. 
Um, you do not have to order a new harness. Nope, it's the identical harness, and we give you all the wires you're gonna need uh, to connect the Comma 3. The Comma 3 uses a right angle wire that like sits in here like this, it's super nice. Um, does it use the modem inside the 845 SOC? Unfortunately not. Uh, the SOM doesn't come with a modem, so we have an additional Quectel modem on there. I told you this device was expensive. Part of the reason it costs a lot to make. I'd love to use the 845 SOC, but good luck getting that from Qualcomm. Uh, can you buy the right angle wire separate? I believe so. Um, I don't know if we put it up yet, but we are certainly going to put it up and they're going to be $20. Um, they're not up yet, but I think we'll do that pretty soon. It's our main bottleneck right now, bugs. Uh, why is auto lane change stupid? We have auto lane change. It's just the, the user does the lane change. I, I have not liked, like, I don't like being in a car when it makes a maneuver that I don't expect. Um, it's doable. I think auto lane change is less stupid than some other features, but I think features like slow down for turns, automatic highway interchanges, red lights and stop signs are much better features. Now, to be fair, I used to say this about red lights and stop signs. Five years ago, I was making fun of red lights and stop signs because five years ago, like we couldn't take every turn on the highway. Now it's time to stop making fun of red lights and stop signs. And you know what? In five years, I'll stop making fun of 90 degree turns and auto lane change. But I think those are like further out and more gimmicky than you think. Uh, I think the core things that you want are things that don't ever have the car perform in a, like the thing about an auto lane change is it's, you don't actually have to do a lane change, right? So it's, it's clearly very much just a feature. You do have to stop at a red light. So the fact that we don't stop at a red light is not great. Um, and that's why I'm much more excited about like red lights and stop signs than I am about auto lane change. Um, any chance of Comma Prime for a lower price, bring your own network? Yes, I think we're gonna make it $16 a month uh, when we refactor the billing code. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, that's not a bad idea. Uh, I think that'll probably be out. If you buy a Comma 3 right now, your three free months of Prime will be included. And then I think by the time the three months are over, we'll be able to lower the, you do not buy a SIM from us plan to uh, 16. Do you think the future harness won't be needed? No, I think the same harness will be needed forever. I know, I can't wait for red lights and stop signs either. I'm very excited about that feature. I'm even more excited for slow down, slow down for turns. Slow down for turns. Slow down for turns means a lot more than turns. Slow down for turns means that if you have the cruise control set at 65 and you're in the city, it's not gonna go 65. It's gonna go a reasonable speed. Um, you know, anytime we're doing things also that involve more braking, I always feel better about more braking, right? Because brakes are safe. Um... Slow down for turns, hype, slow down for turns, hype. Yeah, but it's not just turns. Like, I shouldn't say turns. Basically here, here's what I want you to think of when I say slow down for turns. Imagine you're in an exit lane of the highway. There's no battery in the Comma 3. Uh, imagine being in the exit lane of a highway, automatically slowing down for the exit, and then being on surface streets without ever pushing the cruise control thing down. You'll be able to keep the cruise control thing at 65, but if you're on surface streets, it'll only go 25 or 30. Um, yeah, so you're just in the exit lane. You can do the auto lane change. I mean, we call it auto lane change, right? Like, I'm sorry you have to tap the wheel, but like, you know, again, I think it feels better. I think it feels better to like, it, it's a way of, it's a language for talking to the car. It's like, make me a lane change, right? Um, when is end of life for the comma two? Software support ends in one year. So uh, one year uh, from when the comma three was announced. Uh, can we optimize for lower G-forces when driving? We do. Uh, we absolutely do. Read the NPC code. Um, are you missing data or time? Always time. Not data. Definitely not data. Too much data. I mean, we're missing comma three data. We do need some comma three data. Uh, the comma three data we're, we're, we're excited about getting. I have too much comma two data. We're throwing a lot of it away. Um, can you start your three month prime trial at a later time? No. Uh, min support length for the comma three. Look, guys, we're a small company. Um, I mean, our minimum support. Our absolute minimum is a year, but it's gonna be a lot longer than a year. It's, this is the new platform, right? So if you think about when you bought an Eon Gold, and Eon Gold is the same platform as this, an Eon Gold and a Black Panda. So an Eon Gold and a Black Panda was almost two years ago. So that's a comfortable support time. It'll, I mean, if you go back all the way to the Eon, that's a year before that. If you go back all the way to the, to the Neo, it's like a year before that, it's like four years. This platform is gonna be supported for a long time. Will navigation be on C2? No, navigation's never coming to C2. Um, maybe Fork can try to do it. We tried a little, it was just a pain. It's a pain to make it all work with the stupid uh, 
Uh, Android. Level 2 forever. Is there a battery in the Comma 3? There's a very, very tiny battery uh, in both the Comma 3 and the Comma 2 used for the real-time clock so that when you lose power, you don't lose time. You don't lose the date. Uh, but otherwise, no, no battery. Uh, will the high data rate of C3 data make it harder to get back? Uh, connected to Wi-Fi. Um, how is it in stop and go traffic? Good. Um, where do people sell their used comma twos? You can check on Discord. Uh, there's a for sale channel. Now, actually, if you're looking to buy a used comma two, this is probably the exact time to buy them. Um, have we delivered any comma threes yet? No, the first ship out on Thursday. Slow down on curve. Soon, soon, soon. Um, can you use NAV on C3 in Asia? I believe so. I think Willem will clarify this. I know he uses it in Europe. Uh, so, I don't know. I haven't tried it in Asia, but yeah, I think it should work. Maybe. I don't know. It depends where in Asia, too. I know China has a lot of, like, weird rules around mapping. Um, does Kama own any other companies? No? What do you mean, own any other companies? Like, do we have, like, another brand we sell things under? No. I'm like, say Facebook owns Oculus, but Oculus is just Facebook, right? It's interesting. How the, um, any way to invest in Kama? Not right now. Um, maybe someday. Look, like, if someone sends me a pitch, occasionally people will reach out to invest in Kama, and I, like, like them. I, like, like them as people. And I'm like, yeah, if we ever are looking for money, you know, that's, that's who gets to invest. Uh, a lot of people reach out, and they're like, I'm a banker, and I want to invest in you so I can diversify my portfolio. And I'm like, ugh, boomer fi. Um, camera based longitudinal control, absolutely, coming soon. Uh, no, but sometimes people invest and they're just like cool people. Like we get a bunch of people who are like, yo, I made a lot of money off Tesla. Uh, I want to put some of my gains into something. And I'm like, all right. Uh, if we do any investment, yeah, you're the kind of person I want to let in. Uh, you know, people who like, someone who invested in Tesla is the kind of person who's like, they're like betting on a good future. And like, that's who we want, right? We don't want the kind of people who are like, well, I manage my portfolio to hedge funds and index funds and lots of different weird funds and mutual funds and we trade options and we trade all this weird stuff and it's, it's not even that weird, it's boomerfy. Um, yeah. Sometimes we get cool crypto people too. I like when like crypto people are like, yo man, I made a lot of money in ETH. Uh, I'm interested in that too. Mm. Boomers go burn. No, no. Oh, yes, yes. Hi, this is the United States Fed. We just printed $4 trillion, and we'd like to offer you some in exchange for a piece of your soul. Do you want some fake money in exchange for a piece of your soul? Hmm, no. Um, what if you make money off GameStop? Yeah, you know. No, we're not really looking for investment. Um, what will the limitations of the Comma 3 be? There's no obvious limitations right now, uh, so we don't know. We really don't know. Like, the Comma 2, you know, it was clear that, like, it didn't support. Yes, the Comma 3s will stop on red lights eventually. I promise you that. Or Comma will go out of business. One of those two things will happen first. Um, I made a lot of money flipping bricks. Can I invest? When are you going to show up with your... Will your dollar bills be covered in cocaine? <laughs> uh, what's the next feature we'll bring to the Comma 3? Uh, navigate on open pilot is going to be the huge feature, and that's, like, the prices go up kind of feature. Um, can you find Comet 3? Can you want the specs? Here, I'll, I'll paste you a link. Slow down on Curve. Yeah, hopefully that'll come to both. I, I will try to ship the Slow down on Curve on Comet 2 as well. Um, but the, you know, stopping for faraway cars is going to be a lot better when we start to get data back.